Hello all and welcome. We got some bad news about New World that has come from the team. And I kind of expected this to happen. I uh, played in the beta for New World. And I knew that there were a lot of feedback that came in from me, people from my own stream, uh, and other community members who have talked to me. But they have postponed the game for an additional month. It will no longer be releasing on August 31st and will be coming out on September 28th. This is the message that they left for us. A message from the New World team. We are humbled by our support received from our players around the world through cl throughout closed beta. During beta, more than 1 million adventures entered Atrium or Aeternum. I don't know, I keep Atrium, Aeternum. I go back and forth between the two. Thanks for the support. New World has become one of the most watched games on Twitch. Yada, yada, yada. They're glad for the feedback. They go and say that with all the feedback they have, they want to take a little bit more time to do like bugs, improve stability, polish the game. The 28th should be the release date. Now, like majority of the people, I'm disappointed that it's delayed, right? But I'm also glad that they're fixing things. I played in the beta, as I mentioned earlier. I put in about 80 hours. There's people who have put in way more time than me. There's people who have put in less. But I put in 80 hours during the beta. I played on the streamer server, The Covenant. You know, we were trash. We lost. We got demolished. It was sad. Uh, but I still was able to play with a lot of the systems. I think that the crafting systems are pretty damn good. I don't think that anything needs any work in there. I think the majority of what is needed is a few things with combat when it relates to PvP. And like pvp missions and, and and mission boards and like faction quests those are things that i think that need to be worked on the most there's a few things that i personally complained about like when people are in light armor or lightweight and they can do a dodge roll the stamina regens a little bit too quickly so if they dodge twice you run up to them their stamina is almost fully regen and you go in to get a swing, which is telegraphed, and they dodge while you're in the middle of your swing. Again, it's rinse and repeat, and you can't really stick to them at all. Now, there are a few weapons that are better at that, like, you know, Berserker is a little fast. You can do weapons that charge them, weapons that slow them, but none of them are all perfect fixes. And I think there needs to be, like, some changes in there. There are a few things in, like, War. I feel like Dex builds suffer really bad in War. Um, mostly because light armor is going to hurt you uh, if you're doing a dex build because a con build is just going to have more damage and more damage resistance and have more CC. There's a big problem if you use like bows and muskets and other things is that you only have a few abilities that do AoE damage and then those abilities are on really high cooldowns. So in war, you become a lot less useful. In a duel, you're fine. You can, you know, you can mix and match your abilities and what you're going to bring in. But in war, it comes really obvious that melee runs supreme in the beta. And I hope that they take some moments to address that. Uh, I, I don't think that outside of those, there needs to be any big changes. Like there were some, uh, some graphical bugs that I ran into. There were... There were crashes in the server, but I was playing on the streamer server, so we experienced that a lot more often because there was just way more people on there. Outside of that, I don't really think it needs that much palette polish. I thought that they wouldn't delay it because I think it was, it's pretty, in my opinion, if the game launched as it is now, it would be good, very good, and I think that it would do very well. I mean, you have a million people come into play. They probably got a lot of feedback, and there's a lot of things that they want to change. Overall, though, I am looking forward to New World, right? It's got great crafting systems. I think that the PvP is okay, but I do wish it was a little bit more mandatory in a way. Because uh, they, you know, when it was full PvP and they decided to switch over to a PvP game, I guess it was too much. And I felt like they've taken way too far of a step back, where if a faction ends up becoming dominant the way that it is it's just gonna it's gonna lead to what happens in like wow in a lot of other faction based games if a server becomes dominant let's say the syndicate or the covenant unlikely uh <laughs> there are covenant guilds or, or factions that have done well but mine didn't 
or the Marauders start taking over the server and doing too well, what's going to happen? Two things. People will either not mark for PvP ever, and so they'll just be not have PvP. Or two, after three months go by in game and 128 days from when they pick their faction, they will just switch to the winning one. Why wouldn't you? It gets to the point where it's going to devolve in PvP and this feature of the game, which is supposed to be PvP and game and PvE raids, but let's be real, anybody who's watched the raids have known that they're really not that complicated because the combat is very simple. It doesn't get very complex. The, the very beginning dungeon, well, does have mechanics. You know, if you stand in the bad stuff in the circle, you're going to take AoE damage. It's quite extensive. And then they had the ghosts that, like, come out. I think it was in Armine's Extraction, I think, was the expedition. It does have mechanics. Uh, you know, ads do spawn. But overall, it's, it's mostly like a tank and spank. And it's pretty much all reliant on the healer just keeping everybody up and keeping the ads off the healer as much as possible so they don't have to worry about dodging and running away from mobs. But I hope that there is some valued changes that come from this. Um, maybe we'll see things and, you know, suggestions that people and feedback that they've left throughout the beta that will be perfect for the game. Because I do, like I said, I still think the game's in a good spot. But if they gave it another two and a half months of cook time to polish and fix things up, I really think that it'll probably be one of the greatest launches of any MMO in recent times. Especially in the, with all the turmoil that's happening right now, Blizzard is dropping the ball. Final Fantasy is doing really, really fucking well. This might be a great time to also garner a lot of PvP ground, especially since Ashes of Creation is still very far away from develop or being finished from development. It's still in very early alpha. Uh, it, as the NDA that's been lifted for the past month or almost month or so, you can see that it's still got a ways off. We're looking for another two or three more years of development on that game, unfortunately. But I do like this where it's going right now. I think that the systems that are a little bit more fleshed out, I do like. But I think we'll we'll probably see more of that in Alpha 2. But anyways, it sucks that it was delayed, but that's that's the news. I will see you all on September 28th when New World comes out.